Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. Hello, Goosebumps fans. Like usual, Paparina came through, and we have a brand new spinoffs for it. So, man, it's like at least we have three spinoffs, believe it or not. I think there's three. Anyways, I guess what we should do is the interesting fact that Paparina just did that I'm like, okay, that's a new interesting take on it. So anyways, let's first, let's start with the first part is, did Ricky go too far? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a messed up stab to one person, which, yeah, sorry to do this. He likes Ricky, but sadly what the picture paparina gave us is that ricky kind of went too far so was it really too far for him to actually put her name and number on the newspaper was that really too far in a way i kind of have to actually have to say now kind of yes that is kind of uncalled for but it, it's just completely crazy what happened so Here's his narrative, because I could easily go in here and see what um, Squid Jib said, but here's his narrative. His narrative is that she he gets fired for something, in quotations, fired, for something that he didn't really actually mean to do, which is the bullies freaking him, pushing him side to side and crap, and then all of a sudden, oops, call a spelt on, your, on the computer, which that was the, that was the class computer. That was the classroom's computer, not Tasha's computer, the classroom's computer. So technically the teacher over there should be pissed off. But instead of her being pissed off, it was Tasha. Yeah, uh, you got to admit, though, no offense to R.L. Stein or in if there's a freaking ghostwriter. But I think someone put words in the wrong person's mouth. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but it does make sense later that it is Tasha who do it. But yeah um yeah anyways tasha fires him for the first time then she gives him a second chance the weirdest part is to be the fact of the bullies are there too and it's a freaking car wash and there's a camera are you kidding me <laughs> he's like yes a camera near water that's the smartest move to give him to a second chance and it's your dad's expensive camera are you kidding me well why in the world can you do it i'm pretty sure well I don't know if she's really was a target, but Ricky sure is a target. And considering both times he got screwed over by the bullies and not because of his own free will. Yeah, this gets very, very messed up being like, oh, my goodness. Well, how come they still get to be in the newspaper? Don't tell me that their rough housing didn't bump you a few times. There's got to this gonna be a point where she was typing in something and she keeps on getting bumped because they're rough housing. And what y'all guys, you're not going to say anything to them. You're just going to keep on going. What the fuck? Yeah, but when it comes to the freaking deal, they get rough housing and the drink gets spilled. It's like, come on, there's no way, shape, or form that they didn't do the same thing too when they were actually rough housing and they had a drink in their hand. It's like, come on. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. So what he decides to do is get revenge on her by putting an extra ad on the newspaper. And then she's like, oh, well, since I'm perfectionist, screw you. I'm going to put your name in there, which technically it's like, yeah, well, if it was uncalled for, then technically two wrongs don't make a right. Am I right? I would kind of hope that if we're going to stop, step in here and say, okay, the new episode version, which of course I know is crazy that I should make this, that a spinoff too, but I'll do it. It's just that, yeah, I'm just going to double dip right now is they definitely should, instead of putting like his, a number, instead they should actually do like email address. It's like, yeah, you just put his email address and that actually helps everything because an email is just basically will be his phone going boom, 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 or his computer going boom, 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 or some kind of crap. So it's like, yeah, there you go. Weird that he skipped on a part of where his dad's like, go to sleep. Who the hell's calling you at this time of night? <laughs> yeah. And I'm shocked that Ricky wasn't like, oh, you know what? Let my dad answer the phone. I'm going to unplug the phone in my room and they're going to call my dad and my dad will shoo him away. Case closed. <laughs> and note, um, in the episode, the original episode, they did actually get rid of his father. Heck, I think we don't even get to have his mother involved either. 
And I think in the other telling, what Squid Jib, I think the parents were a part of it, like at least a small, teeny tiny bit a part of it. But of course, you know how it is. There was funds and stuff, and if they can cut people from actually being actors in this freaking show, they do it. <laughs> They're supposed to be four bullies, and well, they made three because, well, we gotta make sure we cut costs somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh let's see so yeah basically let's go with his narrative that that was a messed up turn that he did the only messed up thing that actually derails is that he actually initiated the act but tasha overtook the act and did the same thing too so technically she should be a freaking um you know but apparently let's go with the fact of being like yeah he's thinking of this one way so i'm gonna add a little bit more to it saying that not only that one way but i'm pretty sure they're taking total advantage of ricky meaning that tasha did it too but tasha's a little bit stronger willed than him even though it's kind of funny saying that, and then it's like, hey, remember what he said? Here's a cookie. Yeah, she took it. So, um, where's your strong will now, dummy? It's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't freaking know. Who can actually resist a chocolate chip cookie for free? Oh, I sure couldn't, especially if it was made from Publix. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but here is what um, Paparina had to say. It's the fact of his act of putting her name and number on the newspaper was a line crossed. The creeps saw that and the creeps actually initiated their plan being like, well, he's one of us. He's definitely have to be one of us. So let's see if we can actually get him to do our plan. And yeah, because, well, he shows he got initiative. He is pretty much kind of dark and just like us. So why not actually allow him to come up with a plan of how to screw over everything and, and rule? Not only that, but they just, just give him the rings, too. It's like, give him the rings because it's like, yeah, well, he's just one of us. And he's able to actually do plans. And he's able to initiate plans. So now he could actually be the mind while we actually be the arms. Kind of. Because, well, no he technically gave a cookie out to everyone himself the bullies were just standing there so it's like they might actually have just been the puppet masters and just basically manipulated him to the point of being dark and evil but the messed up part is the fact of so they did that and yet they're still actually going to allow him to be the leader question mark yeah that's the only thing it's like yeah I kind of like the idea of their bumbling idiots and they didn't have any idea of plans and stuff. And they secretly are just acting like that just because they want to take advantage and manipulate this one guy to do their own work. I'm sorry, but I enjoy the other part. But here's this good scenario of there you go. He got manipulated after just doing one thing that could actually have been a wrong idea. Um, besides that. Let's see how many, so many calls, right? So many calls is like, yeah, so I don't know. It's like, I don't know in that case. I'm pretty sure if Tasha, if it would have went the way Tasha did, which I already made a video on that, but there's chances are of now thinking about it like this is that, yeah, Tasha would not have gotten number calls. No one would have called her ass, number one. Number two, pretty sure people can actually look your name, your number on the phone book. Pretty sure well, as soon as they actually know their mom, her mom's name or her dad's name. Yeah, just look in the phone book. Oh, there you are. There's your number. It's like, it's not that hard. It's not that freaking hard. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so. Yeah, Ricky manipulated and Ricky might have crossed the line, putting her name and number, but considering people have been doing that for freaking decades you know you can go to a freaking bathroom stall especially in a high school or even in a bar you'll see numbers you'll see people's names and numbers so it's like <laughs> yeah anyways that was scary days or scary night stay tuned for more spinoffs